How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and before you, you can see box number one of my Explosive Fighter Booster Box opening series. I have to be careful to not say box one of 20 because we don't know how many boxes it's going to take to complete the set. But we are going to try up to 20 booster boxes to complete this expansion. Going to give you a quick tour of the box. As always, if you are new to the channel, I really do hope you will consider subscribing. I do only Japanese Pokemon TCG content on this channel. And I have a bit of a different approach to some of your most favorite, most popular YouTubers. So I hope you will enjoy this video and future videos to come. Of course, you can see Volcanion on the front of this booster box. Volcanion EX does have uh, its place in this set. There's also a Volcanion Full Art. Uh, Steelix EX, Mega Steelix EX, also in this half of X and Y11, as well as break cards for Pyroar, Clawitzer, and Xerneas. The pull rates for this set have been pretty good. Uh, generally, four EXs or breaks per booster box. I would imagine that there's going to be a full art or ultra rare in one out of every two booster boxes. And as well, if you are not new to the channel, or even if you are, I will hope that you will hit the like button down below to show your support for this opening, for this series, for this expansion in general. And I will be posting my Cruel Trader box number one booster box in just a few hours. I want to give this a little bit of time to air out. And I want to, of course, give plenty of time to enjoy this set as many people will be watching it for the first time. Uh, we do have leaflets, of course, in this set, as I'm sure they will be in Cruel Trader as well. So, in our very first pack, what a fitting start. One of the stupidest Pokemon <laughs> to ever exist. It's Probopass, because Probopass is in this set. Uh, we've also got an Apom. Got a lot going on with this card artwork. Uh, Rapidash. Probably going to be calling Rapidash Ponyta from time to time. Uh, Fungus, the great Pokeball Fetcher. It's got an ability that lets you search for up to three Pokeballs in your deck and put them in your hand. And this is our first regular trainer. This is Greedy Die. Uh, Greedy Die is a bit complicated. Uh, if you draw it as a prize card, you can play it before it touches your hand. Uh, so it doesn't look like you're actually playing it as part of your hand and pretending it was your prize card. Uh, and if you do this, you can flip a coin. If it's heads, you get to draw another prize card. Now, of course, this is only effective if you actually have it played as a prize card. Uh, but regardless, I am uh, excited to see what people could potentially do with that card. Uh, pack number two, we have a Bastiodon. Uh, there's a Fletchling. Shellos, really nice to see both Shellos uh, back in the expansions at all, as well as the uh, West and East Sea versions. Uh, there's your Ponyta, very nice. And our first Hollow is also our first dual type. It's a Shiftry Hollow. So each expansion, I believe, has four dual types inside. So this one, of course, is Grass and Dark. You can see it split right down the middle. Very exciting. These are part of the regularly numbered expansion as well. So that is mighty cool. Gotta take some getting used to, uh, but there only are a few in each uh, in each series, so it's not going to be like overwhelming. It's not going to be like you're seeing ancient traits all the time. In fact, I don't know if they'll even do dual types again, but I I certainly hope they do. Uh, this pack starting off with a drift limb. Uh, there's a shield on, really nice attention to detail in the background there. Uh, there's a lampant, a C dot. And a Klotzer. Hoping to pull, of course, that Klotzer break in our first box of Explosive Fighter. Uh, next pack is going to give us our Gastrodons. Looks like they've reversed order this time. But it's really cute. I do like that artwork quite a bit. Uh, there's a Krogunk. Uh, Ambipom. Oshawott right there. And a holographic Xerneas. Very nice. Taking up a fair bit of the card there. 
Not nearly as much as the Xerneas brake will be. But our EXs, our brakes, our potential uh, full arts, and even the ultra rare, those will come in due time. Not pull the full art in the first pack this time around. Uh, here we've got Amoongus. There's a Nuzleaf. Klefki. Big shout out, of course, to Mr. 8 Bit Bach. There's a Nose Pass. And a Ninja Boy. Ninja Boy is a crazy, crazy trainer. Remember this image. You will be seeing it. Uh, Ninja Boy allows you to search your deck for a basic Pokemon. And then you can play it in place of a Pokemon that you already have on the field. And that Pokemon is shuffled back into your deck. And all the energy cards, all the tools, all the damage counters, anything else attached to it, uh, remains on the new Pokemon. I'm sure many astute uh, players will be able to find a use for that. Uh, this is another new trainer. This is Pokemon Ranger. Pokemon Ranger also actually has a, uh, a full art in both expansions, which is a problem that I've voiced already before. Uh, I believe this uh, eliminates all effects on all players and all Pokemon, which seems like a very blanket statement, but I guess it could be useful. Uh, there's a Diwat, Litleo. There's Clink and a Samurott. Nice to see Samurott back in the TCG. Although the artwork tends to be somewhat hit or miss here. Some of it seems kind of lazy or immediately recycled in the case of some of them. Uh, this is Talonflame. This is a normal type Talonflame. Uh, it's got an ability that lets you play it as your starter uh, without being evolved, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's another Shellos. Dot. Shield on. Nice! Mega Steelix. EX with that Canyon Axe. Shiny as well. Metal type and fighting type. So it is a dual type. It is golden and beautiful. I love me some Steelix and some Mega Steelix. So this is an awesome find. Uh, Canyon Axe does 160 damage plus 10 damage. Uh, to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. There you can see the energy requirement. It's just a really, really nice find. Awesome to get this in the first booster box. I'm sure that will be a nice seller once the sale video comes around. Speaking of which, guys, please don't ask to purchase any of the cards that you see in this video. Please do me a favor and wait for the sale video. As we come across another dual type in Galvantula. That's pretty cool. Uh, Fletchender, another Ponyta. Uh, there's Clang, so Clink and Clang have been seen. And there's a Holographic Volcanion. So it's got an EX, it's got a Full Art, and of course, a regular Holographic in this expansion as well. Going to be a very often seen Pokemon in these uh, in these openings. Excited to get our first break, probably in the next few packs. Also, very excited that Cobalion is in this set. Uh, there's Clauncher, uh, Fletchling, uh, Drifloon, and Toxicroak. I was listening to uh, the Pokemon Evolutionaries uh, and 8-Bit Bach uh, combining together for a set review, and I remember them talking specifically about the usefulness of Krogunk and Toxicroak, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, this pack's going to start off with a Steelix Spirit Link, or Soul Link, as they call them in Japan. Uh, there's a Joltik, Oshawott, Fungus, and a Hollow Pyroar. So the set does have two Fire-type Hollows, but uh, given the mascot, that's not all that surprising. So, has anyone out there, and this is a total long shot, has anyone out there ever read a fan fiction called Pokemon Master. Now, I haven't read uh, fanfics in probably 10 or 15 years, uh, but I distinctly remember one from the late 90s, maybe 2000, uh, called Pokemon Master. It was a really dark take on the Pokemon universe. It was really interesting. Uh, a guy named Ace Sanchez actually wrote it. Uh, I had to look that up uh, this morning because I couldn't remember his, uh, his last name. Uh, if anybody out there is interested in a long, uh, dark, potentially very gory read through a uh, Pokemon fanfic, I definitely recommend Pokemon Master by H. Sanchez. Uh, and that artwork just really reminded me of 
what that universe would be like. Uh, anyways, we have Drifflin, uh, Rapidash, a uh, Litwick, uh, the uh, got to be Armor Fossil or Skull Fossil, whichever fossil it is for these guys, and Bastiodon. Kind of try to pick up the opening a little bit here. Spending a lot of time talking. Uh, there's another Greedy Die, uh, Apom, Nuzleaf, uh, Shieldon, and our first break of X and Y11 is Xerneas Break. Very, very nice. A beautiful card. Uh, attack is Lifestream. Lifestream does 20 damage times the number of energy cards on your side of the field. So attached to all Pokemon. Very, very cool. Nice that they included Xerneas in this set as a break card and Evil Tall Break in the Cruel Trader expansion. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, here we have Amoongus, Fletchling, Litleo, Shellos, Whoa! Volcanion E, X, Full, Art. Out of the very first booster box of Explosive Fighter, we get the set's mascot as a full art. Zoom in real quick right there, 55 out of 54, S, R. That is so nice. One might even say SR stands for so rad rather than secret rare or super rare. It is something else, this card, man. And to get it in the first box is so great. Just an amazing way to kick things off. You can see how the uh, how the light is reflecting off of it so nicely. Uh, I am going to shut the light off, uh, my, my spotlight there, so you can see just how reflective it is with the low light. Man, that is absolutely gorgeous. Unreal. First booster box. It's going to cause uh, some problems for me because now that I'm shooting in 60p, this video is probably going to get split in half. Uh, Klotzer, Nosepass, Rapid Ash, Fletchender, and uh, Special Charge. Uh, special Charge is a trainer that lets you shuffle two special energy uh, from your discard pile back into your deck. Try to speed through that. Uh, Probo Pass, Clink, Diwat, Ambipom, and a Holographic Chandelure. So hollows keep on coming. Definitely cool artwork there. I think if this video is under like 16 minutes and 8 seconds or something like that, then it won't get split. Uh, Galvantula, Litwick, uh, Dredagon, first look at that. Oshawott and Samurott. So I apologize if my opening these packs is a little bit rushed now. I just want to make sure you get this as soon as possible. Ninja Boy, uh, Clang, there's a uh, Fungus, Apom, and Volcanion EX to go along with the full art. Very, very nice. I did not mention this before. Of course, this is a, another dual type EX. Didn't mention this before, but its ability is Steam Up. Uh, Steam Up lets you discard a fire energy from your uh, from your hand once per turn, and if you do, your fire Pokemon do 30 extra damage that turn. And its attack is called Volcanic Heat, which does 130, but it can't attack next turn. So we have Bastiodon, Lampant, Nuzleaf, Ponyta, and another Talonflame. Looks like we might just get in under the wire here. Uh, we've got Toxicroak, Clauncher. Drifloon, another Clink, and a Cling Clang Hollow. Good stuff. Haven't seen this as a holographic card in a while. Excellent. And we're, just like that, we're on our last pack. Such a shame that box one is already finished, but we have so many more booster boxes of both X and Y 11 expansions to go. We've got Driftlim, Litleo, uh, Krogunk, a uh, Fletchling, and a Pokemon Ranger to finish things off. Now after this video is done, I will be sorting through these cards and going through everything, uh, working on my set, because I want to make sure that as much of that is in order as possible. But for the time being, here's a look, a recap of all the amazing brand new stuff we pulled in this opening. We've got a dual type Shiftry Hollow, also got Hollows of Xerneas, Volcanion, Pyroar, 
Chandelure and Kling Clang. I think that's all the hollows in this set. I think maybe every box is every hollow. Also got that beautiful Xerneas break, our only break of the opening. Uh, Volcanion EX, another nice look at that card. Mega Steelix EX. And the Volcanion EX Full Art. That is something. What a way to start these openings, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button, drop a comment down below, let me know what your favorite card is from this set. Please no spoilers, of course, and make sure you are subscribed to see many, many, many more X and Y 11 and just general Japanese TCG openings in general. I try to crank out daily content, and that is going to be supercharged for the next week or two while we are going through these sets. So thank you again for the support. It means the world to me, and I'll see you in just a few hours for box number one of Cruel Trader.